Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is actually going into a current event and it's going to be entitled Farrakhan is not a man of the Lord. Uh, this is from FrenchTV.com and this was published on November the 8th, 2018. It said Trump's policies to bring about the death of U.S. Muslim leader Farrakhan warns. Leader of the U.S.-based Nation of Islam movement, Louis Farrakhan has warned that President Donald Trump's policies may result in the death of America. <clears throat> Speaking in a Thursday press conference held at Press TV headquarters in Toronto, Farrakhan said Trump's policies are eroding trust in the U.S. across the world. He warned that the Trump administration's policies, including its new sanctions on the Iranian nation, will bring about the death of the United States. Hey, and the reason why Farrakhan knows this is because of, of the prophets of Yahweh Hashem and Hashem, okay? Hey, he's not a man of Yahweh, so therefore he's not um, actually been governed by the spirit. What's happening is he's seeing videos and he's making it seem like he's coming up with these prophecies, all right? And the reason why we understand these prophecies is because that spirit has been given to us to understand, okay, and come out here and be watching, okay, and, and, and to let our people as well as the general public know that America is going down through the act of World War Three. Uh, go get um, Revelation. Get Revelation 11 14. This is Revelation. Chapter 11, verse 14. Mm -hmm. The second woe is past. Right, World War II is already passed. Go ahead. And behold, the third woe comes quickly. Right, and the third woe comes quickly, man. Meaning World War III. And I, yeah, that last war, man. This is going to be a war that's actually going to end all wars, man. Okay? And America and Russia are going to be the main event. Okay, and then you're gonna have these other nations as well as the EU, as well as China, as well as, well as India, okay, sending missiles over here too. All right? Now that's something. Go ahead. Joel chapter 3, verse 1. Verse 12, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Je Jehoshaphat. Right, the heathen are talking about you other nations, man. Go ahead. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. And there I sit is referring to Yahweh Bashir Marasha because actually he is orchestrating all of this, man. And the valley of, of, of Jehoshaphat is actually Yahweh Shaphat in the uh, in the Hebrew. And that means Yahweh's judgment. All right, so he's going to cast righteous judgment upon these nations. Why? Because they have been living in wickedness based on the lifestyle of America. Right? Put ye in the sickle for the harvest is right. Right, right. Meaning that, hey, prophecies have been fulfilled and the time is right now. Go ahead. During this time frame. Come get you down for the press is full, the fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Right, right. Go ahead. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. And this is talking about these armies, man, because you're going to have Russia down there. You're going to have um, uh, China, India, Korea, Pakistan. Okay, Israel is going to be down there. That's why it's called a, a world war, because all these nations are actually going to be there. It says, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Mm -hmm. you know? And because Farrakhan isn't speaking no, no new thing, no new doctrine. Right. He's not speaking nothing that has not already been registered and mm -hmm. prophesied throughout the earth, man. He's regurgitating and repeating a message that the Heavenly Father's prophets are sending out there, but he wants the fame for it. Mm -hmm. He wants to be recognized for that. You're not going to get the fame for that message of deliverance because the, the Heavenly Father's men out on the highways and the byways are his mouthpieces, man. That's right. You know, and because because the Heavenly Father commanded us to, to, to preach and prophesy his word, and he was going to make his words in our mouth as fire, and these people would, which is going to consume them, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and but that war to end all wars, which is World War III, which is coming, and even the, 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 the build up to that and the aftermath of that is going to be a pure chaos, man. The Heavenly Father had the time of Jacob's trouble coming, man. Mm -hmm. 
know, and this time is gonna be the worst time since the since the world has begun. So uh -huh. it's gonna be worse than the cargo, the transatlantic transatlantic car cargo slave trade. It's gonna be worse than when uh, 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 Jerusalem was sacked by the Romans. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna be worse than when the temples were raided and all the good things were taken out. It's gonna be worse than the captivity of Egypt. Uh -huh. And on this part right here, the article it says the policies of our government will bring about a war in the Middle East that will be a trigger to the greatest war that has ever been. The war at Armageddon, spoken of in the Bible, Farrakhan said, quoted his teacher, Elijah Muhammad, the former leader of the nation of Islam. And what does Islam and Muslims have to even do with the Bible? That's right. What do they have having to, in, in, anything to do with referencing the Battle of Armageddon? You know? And because you got the, the Quran, that you utilize as your book of the law, but you're taking the Bible and you're intercepting, right. and, you know, saying taking tidbits here and there. What do you believe in? The heavenly Father said he that is lukewarm that he's going to spew out of his mouth, man. You can't drink of the cup of the, uh, the heavenly Father and a couple of devils at the same time. And that's confusion. That's exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're a fucking Muslim, but you read out the Bible. Why are you not reading out the Quran like the others saying? And to prove your point, real quick, bro. Hey, Jeremiah 2 and 13, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and killed them my cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. That's and, what, yeah. Go ahead. No, that, that was what Farrakhan is. He's pretty much a broken cistern, man. He's an empty vessel. He probably got all this type of knowledge, man, according to the people of this world. But to us, we know through the spirit, he's not a man of Yahweh Shalom Shah. Yeah. Well, he's not coming out of the book of Yahweh Shalom Shah. That's right. That's right. Hey, because those cisterns. Hey, it's actually going into your philosophies, man. All right, so you believe in Islam, but you jump back to the Bible to give prophecy. To give prophecy of the end. <laughs> so what does the Quran say about that? Because you've been promoted, and you have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers who are Muslims, who's following this Islamic trait, but you're using the Bible to, to, to judge the end. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't that make sense for you to always have been of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and to use this Bible as, 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 as a a balance or a mechanism to push the glorification of the heavenly father but no you didn't do that that's right so now you're a double-minded man unstable in all your ways like you want to go into the prophecies like touch upon those scriptures too yeah about a man that's speaking with a double tongue mm -hmm. about a man with a, a double mind of instability mm -hmm. because you look into the Quran, there's no prophecies uh, in that book man mm -hmm. so that's why he subscribed to the bible because he got following from the christianity world and he has a problem that is long world that's right it's all about money at the end of the day yeah. Yeah. And because, and they also glorified uh, we say the honorable, honorable uh, elijah mm -hmm. muhammad but when yahweh shot is what the book that's right he's the whole book that's right you know so wouldn't he be more honorable than the honorable elijah muhammad that's right in whom you worship and idolize, That's right. That's right. It, it don't make any sense. No. And, 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 and this isn't to, to, to knock a bash, this is just for truth's sake. No. Farrakhan is not a man of the Lord. He's not a man of God. He's not a man of Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right? He's just, a, and he's just a false prophet upon, a, 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 upon the face of the planet right now. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then he's actually uh, capitalizing off your ignorance, man. You know? How can you be a Christian but you follow? You follow the fucking moon. It don't make no sense. This Isaiah 34 and 16. Mm -hmm. Seek ye out a book of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. In the book of Yahweh Bashem El Shai is the Holy Scriptures. Okay? Alright, the King James 1611, which includes the Apocrypha. Alright, go ahead. And read. And read. That's the book we're supposed to be reading out of, man. You know, not the fucking Quran, man. Because, hey, why would I read a fucking book that states. That, uh, to believe in the prophets, you know what I'm saying. So why why wouldn't I just read the Bible and skip that? That don't make sense. Go ahead. No word of these should fail, meaning the prophecies. The prophecies will not fail. That's how we know the microchip is coming. All right. That's how we know that um, World War Three is coming. Yeah, the Battle of Armageddon. The Battle of Armageddon is going to be taking place in the Valley. Valley of Yahweh Shaphat. Right. The valley right. of, of, you know what I'm saying, the Mosai's judgment. Right. Slavery was spoken of within the scriptures, man. Thousands of years. Thousands before of happened. years before it happened. And it happened looking back at that. Yeah. So we would be a fool not to believe in these four common prophecies, man. None shall walk her mate. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you don't have, you, you don't, hey, the 
the scriptures are the scriptures. Okay, it doesn't need um, um, another book to basically verify that this is the truth. To validate. to validate it. But what we do is we use current events, we use future um, 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 things that's going to happen, whether it's through current events, like secular history. yeah, or secular history or past history, and we filter that those things through the scriptures. All right, we don't filter the scriptures through current events. No, we filter current events through the scriptures, man. And that's how we know that this article is not going off, or this article is on point because this is the foundation. Ultimately, the article or the historical artifact rewraps itself right back to the Bible. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, one and seven. Mm -hmm. Wherefore I pray, and understanding was given me. I call upon Yahweh. And that understanding was given to him through the spirit of Yahweh Shemoshah. But you have to pray for it. But hey, it's tricky. The Most High has to give you that spirit to pray for it. So nothing is of you. Alright, go ahead. I called upon Yahweh, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I prefer her before scepters and thrones. And esteemed riches, nothing in comparison of her. So nothing is compared to the spirit of God by Shem Shah on earth, man. Because why this 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 spirit, it actually I mean this book, the spirit of God by Shem Shah actually brings peace within the spirit. Alright, it comforts your spirit. Alright, that's why you can be a king or you can be a prince or you can just be a multi-millionaire, but like the elder was saying, you can still be spiritually dehydrated. Alright? But from but from a, uh, from the exterior, everything is fulfilled. Right. But why in the inside you're fucking dying? Right. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse twenty-four. Woe to them that sin and keeping not my commandment, said the uh, Most High. Hey, destruction! All right, to you that keep not the commandments of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. That's a justified death. Wow. All right, He has every right to kill you out of righteous anger, which is indignation. Man. And if I can say this, you know, you 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 uh you may not eat pork, but your face is smooth as the baby's ass, man. You walk around with suit and ties, and, and you don't go out on the highways and byways, man. Those are things that the man of the Lord is gonna do, man. You know what I'm saying? You all about your consolation, man. You about getting a check, man. Mm -hmm. You're not truly trying to uh help your people, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you uh um uh, the, the the Bible have 18 nations, man, and not one of them say Muslim, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord did not create a nation of Muslims, man. You know what I'm saying? So you, you're a you're a false preacher, a false prophet, and, and you're pretty much just a fraud, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing anything that Heavenly Father requires His people to do, man. I would not spare them going your way, ye right. children. Not spare you, God, because you're being punished. All right, hey, hey. Your, your time is, is not, all right, for breaking these law statutes and commandments. So the most time is not going to spare you, man. Either you're going to be the elect or you're going to be the two-thirds. From the power of all them that sin against him. Right, because of the angels. All right, the same angels bring in these reports. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the most high is all known. But at right. the same time frame, a part of his protocol is right. the angels, his eyes, they report back to him what these wicked yeah, niggas are right. doing and also yeah. what his righteousness of uh, prophets are doing. That's right. Go ahead, bro. And therefore delivered he them to unto death and destruction. That's right. So hey, Farrakhan and a host of other fake prophets, all right, fake leaders, they're going to die a horrible death. Why? Because they're not leading the flock through that door, through your house shot. Man, fuck the lies of the man. Good. All right? It says their old parents should thrust them through, man. And because when they false, and when it when it's fi finally revealed that their false prophets have been preaching falsely in the name of so-called God and His Son, man, and hey, the whole planet Earth is gonna be against them. Mm -hmm. And because because everybody wants, when it's too late, they want to know why didn't you ever warn me? Come, you know, come. and the heavenly father set, set forth his prophets to be what watchmen right. and, to go, and to sound that trumpet. That's right. So we warn the people. That's why the heavenly father said that he was going to give give us fame in the land that we were put to shame. Right. Now those men that have that fame now, what's going to happen to them? The complete opposite. That's right. They're going to be cast down. That's right. You know, um, in the middle of the congregation. Mm -hmm. You know, right. that's going to be around it, and it's right for the soul. That's righteous indignation. How about shit? How shot? That's righteous justice. Thank you.
Mm -hmm. According to the article I'm going to bring out, it says, if the trigger of war in the Middle East is pulled by you using your surrogates at the existence of Israel, then the war will trigger another kind of war, which will bring China, Russia, all of the nations into a war. He said something about what he about Israel? If the trigger of war in the Middle East is pulled by you using your surrogates at the insistence of Israel. Get, get that, get that, get that prophecy. Um, is that in the book of Jeremiah? The mix of the flock shall bring them out. This is uh, Jeremiah 50. I want to say it's uh, what's hard at 45. Surely the mix of that. Jeremiah 50 and 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. Hear the counsel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. Right now, that's what you're doing if you're watching this video or if you're going to watch this video. Go ahead. That he have taken against Babylon. Right, America, modern day. Uh, America is Babylon, man. Go ahead. And his purposes that he have proposed against the land of Chaldeans. Right, because America is going to be a memorial of what not to do. Because why it was the hub of wickedness. Go ahead. Surely the least of the flock should draw them out. Surely the least of the flock should draw America out. What's the least of the flock? According to the scriptures, that's Israel, man. All right, so this nigga, is, he ain't saying nothing new. Go ahead. Surely he will make their habitation desolate with them. And how is he going to do that? Hence the term nuclear fire, man. Nuclear destruction. That's why these scientists have made these missiles. All right, that's why these nations are having war games. War games is nothing but practice for the real gagging. It's a show of force. It's a show of force. To so, uh, basically intimidation. That's what this is what we're working with. Think about what you're doing before we come out here for real, man. So it says, if the trigger of war in the Middle East is pulled by you using your surrogates at the insistence of Israel, then the war will trigger another kind of war, which will bring China, Russia, all of the nations into a war. The elder just brought out their precept. So what, what is he saying? What is he saying different? Yeah. Did he get that out? Did you get out? Did you get that out of the Quran? Riddle me that. This is Isaiah 13 and 2. Lift me up for bearing upon the high mountain. And that's what we're doing, man. The scriptures, man. All right? And what's the high mountain? Hence America, man. Because it's a strong government. Go ahead. Exalt the voice unto them. And that's what we do on the highways and the byways, man. All right? To the elect, to the two-thirds, to these other nations. No one is fair. Go ahead. Yeah, that's how you know just talking about America because in every mountain you got that little, what's called a peak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much America sitting on top of all these other different nations. Mm -hmm. So it's that top mountain, that top government. It says, uh, lift up, lift ye up a banner for the how mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the head that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Right, you and uh, what's nobles? When you break that term down, it means high born, man. All right, going into the elite. All right, because we out here on the highways and the byways, and we letting you know, okay, hey, the elite are going down, and this is the reason why you're going down. You're Edomites, okay? And according to the Most High, view the scriptures, hey, he has an, uh, uh, an undying hatred for that nation. I have commanded my sanctified ones. Mm -hmm. I have also called my mighty ones for my sanctified anger. Ones. Who are, who are, who are the the prophets, who are the mighty ones, the angels. Go ahead. Even them that rejoice in my highness. Mm -hmm. This is the part right here. Verse 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, mm -hmm. a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Mm -hmm. That act through the act of war. Go ahead. The Lord of hosts muster it, the host of the battle. Hey, the Lord of hosts, which is your howl. Okay, the host, what it what the Lord of hosts, he's the Lord of armies, man. Okay? He mustered the battle going into, okay, I created this for this purpose. All right? So the act of World War III is to rain down judgment on these other nations while delivering the elect of Israel. Let's look at that word, muster. It says a gathering, especially of troops, 
for service, inspection, review, or roll call. And what's the service? What's the roll call? So the Mossad gave you this roll call, all right? So basically, he can destroy you, man. Hence, deal in your house shot. All right, you bring out the uh, 034. Um, what is this? Um, and because the truth prophecy, how about she and how shot is going to be known? And because he said that you're going to see your teachers, because their backs were no, no, no longer, no longer going to be pressed into a corner anymore. Man. You know? And so the Heavenly Father, he does with a small, he deals with a small multitude. He doesn't deal with mega churches. He doesn't deal with the, 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 the so called celebrities and, and entertainers of this world. He deals with those men who are deemed insignificant. Man. And the Heavenly Father has always done that. He hasn't used millions to take down a, a, a million man army, he'll take 500. He'll take 1,000, he'll take 10,000, 300, and have them slaughter thousands upon thousands, man. The Heavenly Father loves, to, loves for his power to be shown and magnified upon man, man. And, weak, and weakness, through weakness. Through weakness. So that, that way you can say it has to be divine intervention or higher power. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 34, verse 10. Mm -hmm. It shall not be quenched night nor day. Let's talk about America. Go ahead. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. Forever means a long period of time. Go ahead. From generation to generation, Go ahead. it shall lie waste. Right, meaning that it will never be inhabited again. Go ahead. None shall pass through it forever and ever. That's right, because basically it's going to be a desert. Continue. But the cormorant, but the cormorant uh -huh. and the bitter, the bitter mm -hmm. shall possess it. Desert like creatures. Go ahead. The owl, also the raven, shall dwell in it. Same thing. Go ahead. And he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion. And the stones of emptiness. Right, so you're not going to be able to identify Mississippi from Alabama, California from Idaho. They shall call the nobles thereof the kingdom, mm -hmm. but none shall be there. Mm -hmm. And all her princes shall be nothing. Hence the destruction of the whole world through. Right. And the throne shall come up in her palace, mm -hmm. nettles, and the brambles, brambles, brambles. In the fortresses thereof. Right, and this is the aftermath from uh, it being nuked. All right, go ahead. And it shall be an habitation of dragons mm -hmm. and a court for out. Right, so this is this is the war that's going to end America. All right, this and also this war is going to be the war of all wars, man. All right. This is the end of the so-called white man system. That's right. It's the end of his so-called power structure. And because before the good shall come, the evil that is current and now has to be taken out, has to be uprooted. And the way the heavenly part is going to uproot that is by one of the most extreme prison agents throughout the world. It's an owner man, which is fire, man. Mm -hmm. So the heavenly father is going to rent this place both physically, right? And because mm -hmm. the scriptures say that, 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 that it's basically going to be unrecognizable, man. And the smoke of this place is going to burn for a very long time because generation after generation after generation of Israelites receive that smoke rising, they're going to ask their parents. Good. And their parents is going to talk about that judgment of captivity being upon us and the Heavenly Father redeeming us. And that's the land of our captivity. And because pursuant to the book of Jeremiah, it says what? That we shall no more remember, you know, say, you know, we shall no more say the Lord liveth. They brought us up out of the land of Egypt. Yeah. The Lord lived They brought us out the north. At the land of the north, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what that goes into. So it started in Egypt and it's going to end in Egypt, man. Yeah. Spiritually Egypt. Yeah. They also bodies. House of bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wild beast of the desert shall also meet with the wild beast of the island. Mm -hmm. And the satyr mm -hmm. shall cry to his fellow. Mm -hmm. And the and the screech owl shall it's a lot of satire. And the satire shall cry to his fellow, and the screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest. That's right. So the reason why these desert-like creatures are going to dwell in America because it's going to be a huge des uh, desert. Okay, and this is a big land mass, man. Right? Let's go ahead. One point uh, he brought out, he said. Farrakhan condemned U.S. arms sales to Saudi Arabia, which are being used to slaughter the innocent people of Yemen, saying what is going on in Yemen is a crime against humanity with American planes. What about America? What about the Israelites within this captivity? All right, that's a fucking crime as well. 
Hey, but men of the Lord aren't resources for salvation for humankind. Uh -huh. you, know, right. so we're not, you know, so we're not the, the deliverers of human aid or political advice. Right. You no know, condemning the nation for doing this, condemning the nation for doing that. We got the playbook. Right. We're telling you what you're going to be doing throughout the planet Earth. And we're not out here trying to, 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 to keep you from attacking this individual, keep you from attacking the individual. All that is prophecy. All of that is nothing but, but that stir up of the wars and the rumors of wars, man. That's nothing but the whole pot getting hot until it begins to melt. Right, right. Because we're the prophets of Israelites, not the prophets, like you said, of uh, human race and prove their point. You know what? Give Matthew to the five. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 13. Verse 5, mm -hmm. these 12 Yahweh shot sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into the city of the Samarians, Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what we're about. That's what this word is for, man. Okay, so we're not concerned with what's going on in, in Yemen. Yemen. All right, hey, that's the most I pronounce and, and doing judgment upon them for whatever they did for being wicked, man. Our concern is about our people for dealing with the elect at this time. Right? Okay. And then on the flip side of that, it's also just showing the wickedness of America. Uh, that's also uh, pursuant to uh, the book of Nahum, where one of them get that, how uh, you pull up the skirt. So he also showing the other nations, yeah, how about Shah Shah using Farrakhan to show the other nations, like, look what uh, America is doing. To Yemen by buying uh, arm deals with Saudi Arabia, things of that such. Man. Yeah. So that's opened up other nations' eyes as well. Yeah, on and the flip side. You know, when, when you go even to like the current events of Yemen, it talks about like how over 22 million people are actually starving and 8 million are severe starvation. Hence America, because while they're sending Saudi Arabia to continue to do airstrikes and destroy their food supply. Yeah. So that's pretty much that's building up other countries' anger toward America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Nahum 3 and 5. Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the, na the nations thy nakedness. Just like Shaka stated, that's basically, you know, just going into like the shame how America really gets down. All right, what's really under that dress, man? Go ahead. In the kingdoms thy shame. And I will cast a vulnerable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gaze. Because and stop. of your wicked deeds and your wicked acts. Yep. All right, you're going to be destroyed because of that. Yep. You know, not only for what you, most importantly, for what you do to our nation, but the most high judge is going to judge you of what you did to these other nations. Mm -hmm. right, this is Revelation chapter 16, verse 14. Mm -hmm. For they are the spirits of devils. All right working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth mm -hmm. and of the whole world mm -hmm. to gather them this is revelation chapter 16 verse 13 mm -hmm. and i saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet for for they are the spirits of devils mm -hmm. working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth right. and of the whole world. So the dragon is actually going into like the what the pagan the pagan Rome Empire, the beast is modern day NATO EU, which is a formulation of the Roman Empire. And what else? And the beast, I'm sorry, and the false prophet is this Roman Catholic system. Go ahead. To gather them to battle, to gather them to the battle of that great day of the Most High Almighty. That's right. Going into a a Yahweh Yahweh Hashem Hashem's judgment, Revelation seventeen sixteen. This is Revelation chapter seventeen verse sixteen, mm -hmm. and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. The ten horns is E U. Go ahead. These shall hate the whore. All right. So and you see that. All right. Through the now American sanctions, America America is further isolating itself from the E U. Go ahead. And shall make her desolate and naked. With nuclear fire, go ahead. And shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. With nuclear fire. And Lord will you edify all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakodash. And the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, to serve for his teaching, entry, and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.